active DTC and historic DTC. Before that, this is the information that uh, live at 8 p.m. Indian Standard Time on 16 8 2020, that is on Sunday, is for uh, reply to the technical comments we have received uh, in the past one month. All right, so before that, if you want to subscribe to the Learn Automotive, you can subscribe. The link has been given in the description. In the channel, you can uh, really come to know that how the system level components like acceleration pedal ignition position what are the components in the car everything has been given in a detailed explanation all right so what exactly the active dtc fault the fault present in the current operating cycle is called active dtc fault say for example you are turning on the car ignition so your car met with some fault say for example you don't have petrol uh, like uh, you are uh, you are uh, running you are riding your uh, car or you are driving your car for a certain distance after that uh, you come to know that your car doesn't have the enough fuel so that this uh, obd lamp that is the dashboard lamp start to glow that is fuel low so that means internally the ecu has created some failure some fault all right so that fault has been present in your current ignition cycle to clear the fault what you have to do is you have to fill the petrol all right so that's what the statement has been given when you are driving a vehicle and the fuel of fuel level of your car goes below threshold range then the ecu creates a dtc for the low fuel and indicator in the dashboard so that is called active fuel active dtc that means in the current operating cycle the particular dtc has been present so that is a active dtc fault all right so next one is historic dtc fault the the statement has been given is the fault present was being present on the last or current operating cycle but it's healed or cured because of certain condition so again we can con uh, we can consider the same uh, fuel level all right so you you met with the indication that your fuel level has been low and uh, the dashboard has indicated that low fuel you are not turning on the key but you are filling the fuel and the fuel level reaches above the threshold of the lower threshold or lower range so that the particular fault will be healed and uh, this fuel level low indicator will uh, goes off so that the particular uh, dtc will consider as a historic dtc that means and the previous ignition cycle it is was on so you have to just turn off the ignition key and turn on the ignition key then it will curable so it will consider that in the previous ignition cycle the particular fault has been present but now it was not present so that is considered as the historic dtc fault so whenever your fuel level is less than the threshold and you got indication or fault created as soon you filled the fuel above threshold then the dtc becomes historic dtc all right so the historic dtc is useful for you to analyze for the future problem so what are the faults you have been faced so of course the fuel level uh, low indicator is just a normal fault it's not a critical but if you face any critical uh, failures in the engine so obviously it will be really helpful for analyze at the time of um, uh, debugging or uh, finding any big issue so that is the reason behind the D uh, historic dtc fault all right so another example it's a rpm in a car is too high so that will uh, the particular dtc will be given in the uh, particular uh, uh, video that is uh, posted in this channel the link has been given in the description please find so that uh, you can get the clear understanding on how obd works with respect to the dtcs all right so catch you in the next video until then bye